Welcome to Learn Lifeology. Here in this video, we are going to talk about very special phenomena which occurs in the nitrogen metabolism that is anamox. So to understand anamox, we should be clear about the nitrogen metabolism. Here is the uh, nitrogen cycle is given on the screen. So nitrogen cycle, it involves five important steps. There are five important phenomena or processes which are occurring in the nitrogen cycle. Number one, nitrification. Then second one, anamox. Nitrification is the process where ammonia it is converted into nitrate. Then in anamox, what we are doing, how this nitrates, they are going back to the atmosphere in the form of nitrogen. That is the process in anamox. Then other important phenomena which are occurring in the nitrogen metabolism are nitrate reduction, then denitrification nitrogen fixation so these are some of the other processes which are occurring here in the nitrogen cycle or in the nitrogen metabolism so let's talk about the anamox in detail so what is anamox anamox is actually an abbreviation for anaerobic ammonium oxidation here from this name only we can understand what is going on in this process of the anamox so it is just taken as an abbreviation an from the anaerobic amm from the ammonium and ox from the oxidation that is anaerobic ammonium oxidation so here uh, this process of anamox why we are going to study it because it is a quite important globally significant microbial process of the nitrogen cycle that we are going to see how it is significant and what its importance in this biological process, the nitrite and ammonium, they are converted into dinitrogen gas or simply we can say the nitrogen gas. So, the two nitrogen compounds, one is nitrite and another one is ammonium, they are going converted into nitrogen gas that is nothing but the anamox. And the most important thing is that it is not involving any oxygen. This anamox, it takes place in the natural environments and the microorganisms can carry out this process. This process contributes up to 50% of the dinitrogen gas produced in the oceans. So from here only you can understand how much this anamox is important in the nitrogen cycle. It is thus a major sink for fixed nitrogen and so limits oceanic primary productivity. So here the primary productivity of the oceans, it is also controlled through this anamox mechanism or anamox process. So here is the overall reaction for the anamox. You can see here ammonium ions, they are combining with nitrites giving us to the nitrogen gas along with the formation of water molecule. So very environment friendly process. And that's why it is globally significant also. It is removing two of the important nitrogen metabolites that is ammonium and nitrites converting simply into the dinitrogen gas. This form of metabolism involves the coupling of ammonia oxidation to nitrite reduction. So it's a, it is a coupled redox reaction where ammonia oxidation is occurring ammonia is getting oxidized and nitrites they are getting reduced so that's why it is a coupled reaction that we will see in the mechanism how this process is coupled and what enzymes are involved there so let's talk about some of the characteristic features of the microorganism showing anamox as this anamox is a very important very significant process the microorganism showing this process or carrying out this process have very characteristics of features so let's uh, talk about the these features these organisms which are showing anamox they are strict anaerobes and hence oxygen oxygen is not required at all for this process we can say that it's a strictly anaerobic process now the second important thing about this microorganism is that or the process in the process of anamox they produce the hydrazine N2H4 is a quite poisonous compound and this hydrazine it's also used as a rocket fuel that is one of the application of hydrazine but it is a, a toxic to the living cells. Now this hydrazine it is formed as an intermediate during this anamox metabolism. Anamox bacteria have hydrazine containing intracellular organelles that are called anamoxosome. Now this is very important characteristic feature of this organism that they carry out this process of anamox in a specialized organelle that is anamoxosome. 
and that is the reason even if the hydrazine it is a toxic to living cells it is uh, they are stored in specialized organelles and the process is carried out in a specialized organelles the toxicity it is reduced to the organisms and to the environments and then this hydrazine is just formed as a intermediate during this process so what are these anamoxosomes these anamoxosomes they are compartment inside the cytoplasm which is the site for anamox catabolism like we are having for a uh, oxidation we are having the mitochondria in the cell so likewise this anamoxosomes these are the specialized compartment in this cells which are carrying out the process of anamox that is anamox catabolism the anamoxosome deals with the high toxicity of hydrazine and that is very important feature of this organelles that they deals with the hydrazine toxicity and they prevents the cell from this hydrazine toxicity so here is the diagram of this uh, anamox bacteria or you can say typical anamox bacteria they are having cell wall cytoplasmic membrane after that there is a paraphoplasm uh, it can be observed and in the intracytoplasmic membrane riboplasm is there and specialized compartment which are quite big in the size that is the anamoxosome and this anamoxosome the membrane of the anamoxosome they are containing the enzymes for this particular process of the anamox the membrane uh, enzymes they are associated with the membranes of this anamoxosomes so anamoxosome is surrounded by an unusual and highly compact laterine lipid membrane what is the special speciality of this organelle that they are having a very uh, specialized or unusual kind of lipid that is laterine this uh, laterins they are the class of polycyclic hydrocarbons consisting of repeating units of cyclobutenes and that uh, resembles like a ladders that's why the name is given laterin the membranes of this bacteria mainly consist of landerin repeats so far unique in biology that is again a very important characteristic feature about this bacteria as they are having a special organelle their organelles are having very unusual lipids and that is a laterin and why these lipids are called laterin because they are having a ladder like structure and this ladder like structure is due to the presence of repeating cyclobutane rings in their structure a final striking feature of the organism is the extremely slow growth rate these organisms they show very slow extremely slow growth rate and the doubling time is nearly 2 weeks means the one cell to double it it requires approximately nearly 2 weeks are required as a doubling time so these are some of the important characteristic features of this anamox bacteria or the microorganism showing anamoxosome so the bacteria mediating the process of anamox were identified in 1999 uh, and belong to the bacterial phylum planktomycetes so the organism which were identified as the for fourth time showing this process were the members of the planktomycetes phylum planktomycetes of which planktomycetes and pyrolella are the best known genera which were showing the anamox this anamox organisms are autotrophs although the mechanism of carbon dioxide fixation is still st uh, unclear they are showing the autotrophic mode of nutrition but the mechanism it might, might be the reverse electron flow mechanism or reverse tca it is still unclear the process is unclear so apart from the planktomyces the other organisms or microorganism showing anamox they include brocadia then cunenia anamoxoglobus jetenia which are the freshwater species and scalindua which is a marine species so many more are there but some of those are listed here now this anamox process was originally found to occur only from 20 to 43 degree celsius so this is optimum temperature but more recently anamox has been observed at temperature from 36 to 52 degree celsius in hot springs and even in hydrothermal rains uh, uh, hydrothermal rains at 60 to 85 degree celsius in the mid atlantic ridge as so we can say that the enzymes responsible for this anamoxosome they can even uh, active at this higher temperature up to the 85 degree celsius so here is the anamox mechanism how the process of the anamox is carried out or how it is proceeding 
this is the membrane of this specialized organelle that is anamoxosome and you can see here the cytoplasm is there and this process is carried out with some key enzymes which are there associated with this anamoxosome membrane and as we have seen this membrane they are having specialized lipids that is ladderin. So the key enzymes involved here are the nitrate or reductase then the second one is hydrazine synthase and the <coughs> hydrazine dehydrogenase. These are some of the important, very important characteristic enzymes or uh, enzymes present here to carry out this process of the anamox and they are there associated in the membrane only. So you can see how this reaction is proceeding. Nitrites are involved, ammonia is involved and this hydroxyl amines and hydrazines they are formed as intermediate but immediately due to the redox reaction, the continuous redox reaction, ammonia is getting oxidized and nitrites they are getting reduced and we can get here the nitrogen gas, dinitrogen gas which is the product of this anamox and which is environment friendly and uh, that's why this is very significant process. Due to this property or uh, this uh, conversion of ammonia and nitrites into dinitrogen gas, this anamox mechanism is getting importance in the uh, wastewater treatment processes. The organisms showing anamox, they could be used in industrially to remove the nitrogen in wastewater treatment. So in wastewater, the nitrogen is present either in the form of ammonia or ammonium ions or in the nitrites. So this can be removed through this anamox organism. So here is a simple anamox reactor you can see in the diagram. And this anamox reactor simply the bacteria carrying out this process of anamox they are suspended there. They can be there in the suspended solids form. So uh, recently they are used in the uh, entrapped form or pegylated form so that to reduce their wash, washing out of the bacteria and you can see here in the effluent we will get the water which is less in the ammonium compound and nitrate compounds because as in the diagram showed this ammonia and nitrites through the anamox bacteria they are converted into nitrogen so these were the some of the important point explained briefly about the anamox Hope you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends subscribe the channel and please comments thank you